Hey guys, this is Matt with FrydaerPonics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the two main ways to keep a nutrient reservoir happy and healthy um, and also keep your roots happy and healthy in deep water cultures. Um, anytime the roots are exposed to the actual water, how to keep them from getting root rot. Um, the, one of the main ideologies behind it would be to inoculate your system with so much beneficial stuff that the bad things can't really get a hold. Um, basically, you know, using one of these three and there's also a lot of other ones, tarantula piranha, you know, I could, list goes on, sea green. Um, you can name a ton and I'd recommend trying them all out just to see which one works best for you but at the end of the day we're basically inoculating our nutrient reservoir or our hydroponic system with a bunch of beneficials now that should basically you know they should eat all the food and they should take up all the real estate um, so that if any time bad bacteria or fungus is, is introduced to the system they really don't have anywhere to get a hold of they can't get a foothold in your system there's not enough food there's not enough real estate for them to, to move in um, so the only problem with this system is it can be hard to accomplish um, just because you need the numbers. You need a lot of beneficials to outweigh any of the bad stuff coming into your system. So it can be a little challenging. Um, I know there are also some benefits where if you can make this work, the amount of root growth you get off of these beneficials are also is really impressive. And uh, we all know, you know, bigger root, bigger fruit, it definitely will help you. Um, so they do add some benefits, probably also with nutrient uptake, so you can also probably get some better flavor and aroma if you can accomplish it. Um, it's just that, you know, if you are having trouble with this system, there is another way, um, which would be the other ideology behind root health or reservoir maintenance would be sterile systems. Um, sterile systems basically say, you know, you're usually using synthetic nutrients already, which are putting a hurting on any of these beneficials that you're adding to your system. Um, and and because those nutrients are synthetic, they're you know, chelated to where they would be readily available um, and they don't really need any help from beneficials. They can do it themselves. The plants can get to them no problem. And uh, you know, just adding beneficials is just not really necessary. Um, so in that scenario, you can use a couple different products. These are some of the main ones that I'd recommend. Um, the Gold Range Zone is a sulfur, copper-based um, you know, zone. Uh, uh, sorry, root zone um, conditioners, what they call it, but basically just taking care of your root zone, killing any of the good or bad, and keeping your system completely sterile can be used with nutrients. Um, and then these two, Clear Res and UC Roots, are both the same active ingredient, the hydrochlorous acid. Um, the UC Roots is a little bit stronger concentration, so you'll a little bit more bang for your buck. Um, and then, uh, but this may work a little bit better in cloners because it is a little weaker, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it. Um, and then uh, these three can all be used with nutrients in them. And this is a great way to keep your system completely sterile. Good or bad is going to get zapped once it enters your system. You just add this to your weekly reservoir change, just like your nutrients. Um, and then last but not least, the H2O2, which is just a very strong hydrogen peroxide and uh, strong enough to burn your skin. So be careful when you use this. I'd recommend using some kind of protection on your skin and eyes. Um, and I don't recommend really using it with plants. It's better to be used in between cycles or in between res changes where you want to really completely sterilize everything. Great for cloning machines, things like that. Um, but once again, the levels that you'd have to use to actually really completely sterilize your system would probably be a little bit too strong for plants. You can overdo this. You really can't overdo these two. Um, this one, not so much, but it would be a little bit more touchy than these two. These are pretty hard to overdo. So either you know, inoculate, 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 keep your system extremely alive. And if this doesn't work for you and you just can't make it work and you're constantly having those root zone issues, I really would think about moving to a sterile system. Um, just you know, kill everything and let the synthetic nutrients do their job. So um, all this stuff's available at Fiber, for Hydroponics and a lot more. There's a lot more options than just these up here. These are just some of the favorites, um, some of the top ones that we sell. Um, so come check us out. I hope this video helped you out, and we'll see you next time.